Hey you guys, welcome to the Honeywell session. This is the part two to episode 17. Part one has the Honeywell healing segment, right? And this is the Honeywell self-development segment, right? Which we're going to be reading from Millionaire Success Habits, The Gateway to Wealth and Prosperity by Dean Graciosi, right? So, we're going to be reading from chapter two, which is the foundation for all success, right? One of the challenges we have in modern life is that there are so many options to do so many great things. There are so many things throughout our lives vying for our attention that if we don't manage modern life, it will manage us. Part of managing it is just making the choice that this is what I feel. This is important to me and then really focusing on your gut, right? This is a, by, uh, a statement by Joe Polish, right? In, it was an interview he had with Don Graziosi. Now, where the heck are you going in your life, my dear? Many people struggle with this seemingly obvious, obvious question. Want to see the evidence of this struggle? During this week, ask five random people what they don't want out of life. I can all but guarantee they have a sizable list. It will be as if they metaphorically lick their fingers clear, their throats as if about to make some life altering announcement. Grab their figurative list and begin to enumerate the items on it. I don't want to keep the same income and job I have now. I don't want my spouse to nag me about money and time spent at home. I don't want to keep driving this crappy car for another year. The I don't want always flow out easily, so easily that sometimes they seem like they have been rehearsed. It's as if people are constantly thinking about them. And why is that? Because they are, yeah? So after you ask these people what they don't want out of life, and they're ticking off their fifth or sixth item. Stop them abruptly. Pause for a second. And say, okay. I understand what you don't want out of life. Now let me ask you this. What do you want out of life? This is where things get interesting. After you ask this question, you'll see puzzlement. Followed by a ceased or creased brow. They're starting to think about what you ask. Their reactions will be the polar opposite of the reactions they had when you ask them what they don't want out of life. Many people will respond, well, that's a good question, or I'll have to think about that one. It's like they're saying, I'm in a fast car. I'm driving 100 miles per hour. I know for sure. I don't want to go to Florida, Texas, or Arizona, but I'm not sure where I actually want to go. What happens then? You end up nowhere. You end up out of gas and unable to reach your destination because you only know where you don't want to go. Sounds pretty simple, right? Maybe you're saying, oh boy, Dean, is that the grand wisdom you have for me? Actually, it's a huge part of it. But you have to wrap your head around what the wisdom really is. Once you understand it, you will see why this may be the biggest reason you are holding yourself back from breaking through to the next level. So let me ask you a question. Do you know anyone who fits this description? Someone who has an easier time expressing what they don't want out of life than expressing what they do want. Maybe a friend, a relative, a spouse, who goes through this life in such way, maybe even some one a little closer to you. That's someone you see when you look in the mirror after rolling out of bed each morning. You see, what's crazy about today's society is that everybody is racing around with Ferrari brains, but no one has her GPS on. And here's the unfortunate truth for a society like this. It doesn't matter how fast you can go. It doesn't matter how much passion you have. And it doesn't matter how much energy you put into something. 
If you don't have a vision and clarity on the, the destination you want to reach, you will simply never get there. I hear a crow out there crowing too. The reason I call it a Ferrari brain is because you can buy the most expensive Ferrari in the world and drive as fast as you possibly can. But if you don't know where you're going, you'll get nowhere quickly. Would you rather drive a Ferrari off a cliff at 200 miles per hour or drive a Paris to the promised land? Ask yourself. Slow and steady, know where you're going or fast as hell, not knowing where you're going. Come on now. Now, when you have no idea about your direction, you tend to spend your time doing things that are preventing you from making more money, receiving promotions, seeing your family more, or even just enjoying life at the optimal or at an optimal level. And while you're doing these things that are in no way serving your future, you're forced to say no to doing the things that could further your business, your income, and your happiness. On the flip side, when you have a clear vision for your life, you'll stop wasting your time on things not serving your dreams, your goals, or your aspirations. Your actions will have purpose and your hours will be spent achieving those goals. Your procrastination will cease because you'll know with 100% certainty what you cannot put off until tomorrow. All right? Beautiful. Once again, the name of this book, if you guys would like to purchase it, is called Millionaire Success Habits. Okay, I'm not endorsed by him or sponsored. I'm just sharing you guys knowledge that I use along my journey as well, right? And from other beautiful people along the journey of self-development, healing, and evolving to your highest self. Now, I'm going to close this off with some monology messages, right? Um, should I close this off with monology messages or should I actually before? I'm going to actually pull some guidance and evaluation messages from the tarot. All right. Let's see what's going on. And then I'll close it out with some monology, all right? You got a crow, you guys? It's real in the field, baby. All right, synchronicities. Synchronicities are all around you. You just have to pay attention. All right. All right. Well, Spirit, can you provide some guidance? An evaluation messages for the collective, please. So the five of wands in reverse, right? That is you. This is uh, what worked for you is you not allowing yourself being gaslight by anyone, not allowing people to gaslight you along your journey, right? Not allowing you to not allowing yourself to be pulled and too many directions where you find yourself burnt out, okay? And you not, what's working for you is you grasping every opportunity, not one of the timer, okay? So taking advantage of every opportunity that comes before you, right? Or the opportunities that come towards you, right? And seeing the good and everything and making it work for you in that moment, right? Instead of stretching yourself out, allowing yourself to be burnt out, allowing people to play you uh, or worrying about the competition, okay? Don't focus on the co uh, competing with others. Focus on competing with the old you versus the new you, right? And that's what's, wor that's what's working for you and that's going to work for you. Now, uh, what's not working is 
if you don't allow yourself to complete the cycle, right, while not, not figuring out where you what it is you really want and going after it, it, it ain't going to happen, baby. You're going to be going nowhere fast like the book recommended. It don't care how fast you're going, 10, 10. If you don't got a solid destination, it ain't going to work for you, right? And, you know what I'm saying, not allowing your creativity to come into its full manifestation you know, they say almost doesn't count. That ain't going to work either. All right? So you got to go all the way. You got to go all the way. Okay? Halfway isn't good enough. Go all the way. All right? And focus on what you really want. Tune in that focus on what makes you happy, what's important to you, and the goals that you set out for yourself. Right? It's time to complete these goals now, baby. Now, the sooner you figure out exactly where you want to go the faster you'll get to your destination successfully and effectively right now your lesson is if you don't put the work in you ain't got nothing to get out okay you got to put the work in to get it out i'm reading a book called the millionaire success habits right and in this day and time where the way inflation is i mean who wouldn't want to who wouldn't mind being a millionaire all right but you know, millionaire millionaire status requires work, right? You got to put the work in. But if you put the work in, and you and you set a clear target for yourself, you will be able to accomplish it if you go all the way. Okay, focus on you and go all the way. All right, but you gotta put the work in. So also stay away from people that don't want to put the work in because um, that's not gonna get you the results. You need, and those are not the type of people you want to surround yourself around, right? Be, be mindful. If you took yourself away, which I, some of you guys, you, you did, right? Or you needed to, right? Or you're going to realize, I need to separate myself with some folks. Because they ain't going to take me where I need to go. They don't inspire me, okay? Or they, or they don't convict me to stand, you know, stand firm, 10 toes down, and do what I got to do. 12, 12 on a time. So let's see what your moonology message is here. All right. Guess what, baby? The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini, right? And uh, communication is key, new moon in Gemini, right? And so this ties into the first part of the Honeywell session. So do check that out, right? Episode 17, part one. Communication is key for you, right? And you are very close to achieving your goals. Give me a smooth. So guess what, baby? Go all the way. Go all the way, all right? You can do it you can do it i appreciate you guys i'm going to close it off with a fortune and i'll let you go or a word of encouragement let's see what we get here we got a fortune for you baby to get respect from others one must first give respect to others all right so i feel like whatever work fill you're into or whatever your career fill your job put the work in in order to get that respect okay your fortune requires you to put the work in in order to gain the respect, all right? All right. Now, and once you do, you will gain it, right? Because the work, your work going to speak for you. You ain't got to do too much to work. Your work going to speak for you, baby. Your lucky numbers are 29, which in the part one, 29 was sacred sight, gift of sacred sight. Your lucky numbers are also 42, 12, 3, 33, and 22. And 22 came out earlier in the first segment, uh, which is have faith. So have faith knowing that the answers you need are coming. Communication is key uh, and you're very close to achieving your goal. Just go all the way, baby. Ashe, I appreciate you.